What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Chris. <laughs> really cute intro, loving me. So this past Friday, I went on a date to the movies to see Scary Movie 5 with my girlfriend, Annalise. <laughs> I love me. <laughs> Only like 12 people are gonna get that joke, but you're welcome, self, to you. Hashtag holla, hashtag toothbrush. Okay. So yeah, as I was saying, we went to go see Scary Movie 5, so I thought I'd bring it a little review synopsis to y'all so you can see if y'all should spend your hard-earned cash money on that flick, or if you should say, no girl, I ain't be going to that because Chris said it was full of dookie. And I think my analysis should really be trusted in this case because I went to the movie with a girl named Anal, and Anal, as in Annalise, we call her Anal because normal teenage things. We're really mature and really good. I'm graduating this year. But anal is like the first syllable of analysis. Spell the same. So my anal assess. Insert seven jokes there. Should be trusted. Awesome. I think I'm gonna call this movie an anal assess. Because that's that's really funny. This ain't no longer a review. This is an analysis. I'm going to regret that. So yeah, the reason why we decided to go to Scary Movie 5 is not only because there's nothing else to do in this town of like 3,000 people, but also because I wanted to go see Ashley Tisdale because every normal teenage boy is obsessed with Ashley Tisdale, right? Sharpay, like my alter ego. We are the same person. We want it all and we're both fabulous. I'm gonna kill myself with these references. <laughs> The movie starts out with some sort of sex scene between Charlie Sheen and Lindsay Lohan. So in other words, I'm obsessed with it because Lindsay Lohan. My, I model my behavior, your enunciation after her because I think she's a really good role model to young teens everywhere. Eventually she ended up turning into a ghost and that was the end of you saw her and it was like a transition into the actual movie, but I don't know, I think there should have been more Lindsay Lohan because she's hot. So then the actual plotline of the movie starts out and there's these three girls, well two girls, like seven and eight maybe, and then a baby who's like I guess one, I don't know, babies all look the same to me. Um, and they're in a cabin and they're possessed by demons or something, and then Ashley Tisdale and her boyfriend? I don't know if they were married or not, I'm not sure. Decided to adopt them because yes, I always adopt possessed children. And by the way, possessed children, I don't think it's just those children that are possessed, all children are possessed. Until you turn around the age of like 15, you're possessed by demons. That's not a disputable fact. That's, you're possessed by demons if you're under 15. You're welcome. It's called half my viewers demon possessed. Really good way to make friends, Chris. Holla. Then the movie gets really confusing. They go into this house that's run by the government, so it has cameras everywhere, and thus they can film a movie or whatever. And they have a Mexican maid, which is good because, if y'all didn't notice, Mexican food is kind of my thing. I literally, half my tweets are either about wheat thins or Mexican food. I'm not exaggerating right now. If you follow me, you know that is the truth. Then creepy things start to happen in the house, like the pots and pans are falling, and the kids are acting like dogs, and then they talk about this girl named Mama, and Mama is possessing the kids, and they are doing weird things and drawing pictures and stuff, like a girl riding a penis to the moon or something. I'm pretty sure that was something that happened in there. That's always good. Meanwhile, all this plot, or lack thereof, is happening. Mostly what it is, is there There are really some witty um, injections of other movies, like all getting into, and there's some inappropriate, like it's not clever humor, but it's clever enough where it kind of makes you chuckle. It's not like a lol -lo 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 movie, but it, it, it did make me laugh at points. And then there's like the Ashley Tisdale is trying out for Black Swan, but there's like a stripper lady who ends up getting the part, so then they make out and stuff, and that's always good because all about lesbian makeout scenes. You're welcome, America. Meanwhile, all this is happening too. There's like 900 little celebrities that are in it, like Snoop Dogg's in it, and like Mac Miller, I think is his name's in it, and then like that guy from Teen Wolf is in it, and of which I do not watch, for the record. No, gross. You know who you are and who I'm directing that to. And spoil alert, don't continue watching if you really are worried about me 
spoiling the plot of this movie. And then they find a book, and then it's like full of spells, and it makes them unpossessed, and then the spells somehow lead them to a map, and then the map, then the girls, like, are about to jump off the cliff with Mama, but then they don't, because Ashley Chills is like, oh, I love you, you deserve a family, so, like, stereotypical horror movie ending. The family all gets happy together, and they are a loving family, and Jesus, and... Tacos. If I could sum up the movie in four sentences, I'm not actually going to count how many sentences I'm saying, but I'm just going to fulfill thought. You're welcome. The movie is rather dry on plot, but there are some clever, kind of celebrity cameos, and there are a few LOL moments and a couple dry chuckles. I would not recommend seeing in theaters, but I would recommend renting it at home, but if you're looking for just like a stupid night out on the town, go for it. Um, have fun. So overall, I give Scary Movie 5 a 4 out of 10, would not really watch again, and I give Ashley Tisdale a 10 out of 10, would bang. I want to bop off her top. Also, if you guys are willing to like this video and leave a comment below saying whether you're going to go watch Scary Movie 5 or not, I will respond to all comments like, yeah. And if you guys are willing to subscribe, that'd be great because I'm really close to a thousand subscribers and I think that'd be kind of cool. Graduation present, I'm graduating in a month. Do that. Thank. And post it on Twitter and Facebook, yo. It's cool. Remember, I post a new video every Sunday, so be on the lookout for that. I'm gonna be very busy for the next month, so if I am like a day late every now and then, please forgive me. I just have very limited time to film when my family isn't home, because I'm never home. But in the meantime, the cutes eat the fruit. I want to eat Ashley Tisdale's fruit. Yes. Melons. In my mouth. And think about Kesha seven hours a day.